so I totally missed the old faithful exit. And his camera died. And, and my camera keeps freezing up. I mean, it's exposed. Look at this. It's, it's just naked. GoPro, what, what's going on here? You told me this is the most rugged camera you made. I mean, I got a couple good shots of us on our, uh, our, our snowmobiles. So ho hopefully there's some decent shots there, but I had to stop on the way back here, doubling back because I, I saw something over the uh, bottom of the hill here. And at first I did think it was a boulder, but I'm like, okay, boulders that look the same and they're huddled together. And I kind of saw like the same silhouette that looked like the horns. So I had to stop and pull over and grab a couple of photos. I try west entrance if there's no <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, they did you say we can come out any entrance <laughs> yeah oh and return at their other location yeah no yeah. we're yeah, yeah we're gonna come out through the south and uh return through flag or uh flag ranch Perfect. yeah and you're my first this year so <laughs> i'm a little hey, slow in nice. the process <laughs> So you might have already heard from our uh, previous conversation over the phone with uh, one of the park rangers. We got the clearance to enter south entrance. We finally got it literally last minute, the uh, thumbs up from the park rangers. So tomorrow morning, we'll be waking up at around 5 a.m. Cook some quick breakfast, make some coffee, get everything in order before our one hour, 45 minute drive to Flag Ranch Station, where we will get our snowmobile rentals in order, pick up our snowmobiles, and then head into the south entrance of Yellowstone National Park. To give you guys a little bit of insight, it's known as the Yellowstone Non-Commercially Guided Snowmobile Permit. This permit allows a private group to enter Yellowstone in one of four entrances, north, west, east, and south, with snowmobiles. And the permit allows up to five snowmobile machines to enter Yellowstone. The price for the permit is $40 per day, and you have to pay a $6 application fee at the time of applying for the permit. How this permit works is that it's a raffle system. You have pretty much the month of August to enter the raffle number of times as you want per, on a per individual basis. You and a couple buddies can submit their applications, pay the $6 fee and pick whatever days and entrances you're interested in. I think the application allows you up to six different slots of interest. So that could be anywhere between from December 15th when the season opens for winter transportation for snowmobiles all the way through, I believe, March or April. Don't quote me on that. So once you've entered the raffle system throughout the month of August, winners are announced on mid-September. 
And from there, you'll get the email whether or not you got the permit you're interested in or you got the you suck email. The you suck email tells you that you lost out on the raffle this year, unfortunately. But wait, there's more. You get one more shot at the permit. The first round of raffle winners get the chance to purchase their permits or cancel their permits. In September, first come, first serve basis, whatever permits were canceled or any leftover permits available for whatever dates, you can go ahead and grab them. And that's what happened to me. So pretty much I lost out on the August raffle. <laughs> Why can't I say raffle? Pretty much I lost out on the August raffle and I had to set my alarm for mid-September and I waited and I waited and I refreshed and I was able to snag December 16th and the south entrance. You know, you got a lot of benefits with each entrance. East entrance is the most dramatic one in the sense that it's a little bit more, you have to exercise more caution with the east. You have to go through an avalanche zone pass uh, one at a time. West entrance is, uh, that, that's the one I did last year in September for my birthday during the fall and that was that was a blast of a trip. I went with the GoBros on that one. Pretty much I was able to snag the permit for south entrance December 16th. Here's the catch though. The issue we were encountering this season is that snow came a little late this season. And unfortunately, December 15th permits got canceled. There was not enough snow in Wyoming and Montana. But fortunately for our group, we were able to get some last minute snow and actually good enough snow to enter South Entrance with snowmobiles. Actually, a matter of fact, South Entrance is the only entrance allowed to enter with snowmobiles at this time. I did get an email from Yellowstone National Park saying that they're looking at opening up West Entrance possibly. That remains to be seen. We are getting a little snow, but we did get a decent amount of snow last night, upwards up to between five to eight inches of snow. So that was great news that we got last minute that we were able to enter as scheduled south entrance with our snowmobiles. So tomorrow morning, we'll be heading up to Flag Ranch, getting our snowmobiles and get into the south entrance. There wasn't enough snow to cover most of the park. So the rangers did inform me that we'll be going through the south entrance, but only upwards to Old Faithful, not including the west entrance. So, I mean, that remains to be seen. We might get some more snow tonight and maybe conditions change in the morning. But yeah, I mean, it's a go. The Rangers even told us that we'll be the first group going into Yellowstone this season for the snowmobile permits. Super proud that a group of Miami boys are gonna be the first group to go into Yellowstone this year. Glad we were able to get it in and we're super excited to see Yellowstone tomorrow. 5.17 in the morning. I've been up since about 4.45 a.m. waiting on Joey to wake up. Chad's up, we're gonna make some breakfast and coffee. We got about close to hour 45 drive north to get our snowmobiles. So without further ado, let's get this vlog rolling. doing a quick check-in with the rangers over here after the right here past the south entrance checkpoint we got to come in to uh, check in with the rangers here get all our annual passes and fees all squared away and then continue our adventure through yellowstone <laughs> Doubling back because I, I saw something over the uh, bottom of the hill here. So I had to stop and pull over and grab a couple of photos. One more time? No, they're fine. I think I still think they're both.
right, so we finally made it to uh, Old Faithful. Isn't she beautiful? Just look at her. Old Faithful. And we missed her blowing. She blows again at four, but we gotta hit the road. <laughs> it's 3.15 right now, and we were supposed to be out of the park by four, and it took us an hour and a half. We'll see what happens. Anyway, <laughs> Old Faithful, as promised. So I was able to get some cool photos with the gang over here at Old Faithful, and we're at a bit of a time constraint. Dying batteries and broken devices and everything. But <laughs> well, the boys are ready to go home. <laughs> So, and my, my, I gotta fix my selfie stick. It uh, kind of broke. So, yeah, a little bit of a race against time now. We have about an hour to get back and return our snowmobiles. the uh, permit tag that we had, the banner for our snowmobiles. Just in the nick of time. Until next time, Yellowstone. We made it. Back to Flag Ranch. It was a hell of a journey. Until next time, I'm Xander, that's Chad and Joey, and we gotta return these snowmobiles or find someone.